I present you <coughs> the amazing trading setup, the one that you have been dreaming about. It is very, very good trading setup. This is related to gold. Gold has price moved incredibly as per our analysis. There is a little hiccup today and it's actually a blessing in the disguise. A lot of people probably who are following me looking at the correction, they probably are not sure what exactly is going. I'm going to explain that. And for someone who is not following me and is new to this video, we have a very, very amazing trading setup in front of us right now. I'm going to discuss gold and we are going to look at it first of all in generic using generic technical analysis. And then if you are unaware of technical uh, Elliott wave analysis, that will help you. But if you are aware of Elliott wave analysis, I'm going to discuss exactly what I'm seeing as part of Elliott wave analysis as well. So let's get, let get uh, to the screen and see what's happening. First of all, uh, let's get back to the <laughs> accurate chart that I have here. This one, all right? So this is, uh, this is not something new that I'm going. I have been following this that, that we are into the uh, price crash I right start from over here I already was forecasting this and this did happen so it was pretty amazing forecast uh, that I presented to my audience so in today's uh, in last week I clearly mentioned that we are seeing a top about to happen the actual pattern did not happen but we did see a top and prices have drawn so that's also amazing so in terms of uh, general technical analysis you can see that we have seen we have come out of the side price wave action we were able to uh, analyze that there is this is a very important support area this support the black line that you're seeing so we can see on a 15 minute chart it's more clearly visible and let me adjust the setting so we can actually see it so right over here this is very important support right over here so this range you can now actually see that this horizontal line is very important and we have seen the prices drop off and now prices are actually lying on that resistance line which was support for the correction it became resistance for downward trend and then now it has become support for the downward trend and it's all very positive news this is exactly what we were saying initially i was expecting that the prices would actually shoot up downward but we have actually seen this price wave too it is a little hiccup uh, I was a little being too impatient as well but it's still very good news very good news for the people who have been just give me a moment he's turning left and right all right that. so it's very good news for people who have not been able to join the trend from the top uh, and for the people who have already joined the trend right over here you can bring your stop loss right from 1902 right over here to 1790 it will put a little uh, it will ease your nerves a little and then you can uh, decrease uh, pressure on your mind and <laughs> financial as well so price with, with this price movement this is what you're looking at for the people who are new who want to join the trend right now this is also being a good stop loss you want to put your stop loss right around 1790 once again Please do not <laughs> pull me to a court system or something. This is not guaranteed. This is what I'm looking at as per as Elliott wave analysis. And this is what Elliott wave analysis is telling me. All right. So do, if you lose a million, don't please um, don't drag me in the situation. And what's, what's happening right over here is mm, I'm all over the place. I'm just so excited. I'm all over the place with analysis. Let's have a look on the daily chart. Uh, yeah all right so from 15 minute chart we can see that the support line is very area the horizontal line is also very important and we can see right now that prices went up and joined on a large time scale we can see that the prices have come down I'm considering this as wave 1 this is considering as wave 2 and this is wave 3 just because 1 2 and 3 has happened doesn't mean that the trend is gonna happen is close is gonna is gonna complete I'm expecting because we have not seen a clear uh, f division in the wave third so I'm expecting a clear division in wave five that's the reason I'm so excited about so I'm considering this as not wave five I'm considering this whole price movement as wave one of five this is wave two of five and then I'm expecting that we are going to see a sharper price movement uh, starting from tonight this evening a sharper price movement down all the way this is going to be wave four and then a pullback retest of 1675 area retest of this area this is going to be wave four of the uh, wave uh, five and then we'll see prices coming forward around 1560 
so if right now gold is trading around six, uh, 1767 if you put la stop loss at uh, 1790 which is hardly 23 points away and we are expecting about 210 dollars or 200 dollars in uh, in return so 200 points will be our reward this kind of goes around to uh, 1 ratio 9 and this is a very very amazing trading setup. Now this is not going to take as per my analysis it's not going to take months and weeks and weeks. No, I believe that this is going to take about 10 to 15 days. All right. In next 10 to 15 days we are going to see this pattern and if you are actually uh, someone who is looking at the retail markets and wondering how are people making it's not very often that these kind of uh, uh, trading setups appear once they appear they are very very excellent trading as opportunities this is what I'm looking at it I want to want to share with you guys so that everybody who is looking at the channel can actually benefit from it how you can help me is by pushing the thumbs up and sharing the video with your colleagues on your Facebook or whatever and commenting so that YouTube picks up that this uh, active video let's have a quick look at euro alright I'm bearish with I'm bearish with the uh, with silver, right? Someone wants to know. I'm bearish with silver. I don't want to discuss silver in a in a long video right now. Let's have a look at uh, at euro. I have a little concern with euro. The reason is because it did not move <coughs> exactly as you were thinking. Uh, actually, it did not follow gold. So this is kind of a disconnect. It looks like there is a good possibility. All right. There's a good possibility that we might see a price movement swing upward. All right. There is a good possibility that you might see this happening. And that would mean that euro would be actually moving in a different direction as compared to gold. All right. So please pay attention in that. If you are in euro, I have done more work on gold and I'm more confident about gold. Euro is expected to come down. There is, I have on a large scale, Euro is expected to come down. I'm pretty positive about it that Euro is going to come down. But is it possible it's going to come down right from over here? Or it can actually go one top and then, then come from over here? Both possibilities exist right now. Alright? So be really careful if you are in a Euro, uh, use your own analysis techniques as well. I will see. My own analysis is taking a lot of time when I'm doing it and I don't want to actually I'm working as well so you guys can see how it could be really tricky. Let's have a look at Br British Pound and see if we can see some make some sense of the... So once again British Pound is giving us some... Um, let me give me a moment and let me see what I'm looking at uh, just sim in simple plain words. Alrighty. First of all, we are seeing this zone very clearly. All right, for British pound to be bearish, it needs to cross this. So I would personally, if I am trading with a uh, uh, British pound on a large time scale, I would personally wait for this to be broken, and then I would also wait for. Let me see if I can draw a trend line right over here. Alright, I know it's pretty hectic. I was busy all day with work. I didn't get have enough time to actually put a video analysis. So, I'm still considering that this price movement is still in the channel. So, I would personally wait for the break of 1.36 area, a clear break of this support line as well. If that happens, that would mean that uh, British Pound has already turned bearish. If not, we might see one, as I said, we might see one push upward as we're going to see a push upward in Euro expected. So I'm expecting that we might see. On a large time frame, I'm expecting on a weekly time frame, I'm expecting that the Euro is going to turn that. Where exactly possible, we'll have to really closely look at it. So I'm bearish on a long term scale uh, for British Pound and so I'm bearish on Euro as well. And uh, let's see what happens. And what's again? Yeah, that's it for now. If you wanna, if you really like the video, especially your analysis of the gold, I'm very positive with uh, with gold, and I believe that we are going to see start seeing prices further down. 
so please press thumbs up and comment have a good luck wish you good luck for people who are have actually put stop loss right around 1902 area you can now bring your stop loss somewhere around 1790 so it's a very good um, trading maintenance as well you can man manage your trade in a way that will uh, definitely definitely lower mental pressure as well thank you so much once again have a good one and bye bye